I couldn't tie my shoes till I was 10, but I can make a martini. I was like Isaac on our sinking little love boat. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. This is perfect. So, tell me, have you met any nice girls at school this year? Yeah, they're nice. Hey, you give any thought to what we talked about? None of the other fifth graders know what they're going to do after high school. Well, I might care about a bunch of pansy fifth graders with silver spoons in their mouths. I sort of like the idea of teaching. Teaching sounds good. That's terrific, honey. <laughs> I can't remember them without a drink in their hand. You know, when my father used to pitch baseballs to me in the backyard, mm -hmm. he never spilled a drop. <sighs> oh, my God, I can't even imagine. Your parents didn't drink? No, we never played games in the backyard. Never? Well, first of all, we didn't have a backyard. And second of all, the closest we ever came to a game was the feel wheel. Rage is at the top. Then we move down to frustration, confusion, loneliness. On the other side, we have loving, affectionate, silly. OK, <laughs> Eli, you go first. Take your name and put it on the emotion you're feeling right now. That's right, Eli. Don't think. Look inside. What are you feeling? Right now, go. Don't think. Go. Go. Go! Do I have to, Dr. Wyckoff? Can you do it for mommy? You'd just be walking along, and then you think, Gee, I feel happy, and you'd put your little flag on the wheel? No, no, it was just something my parents wanted us to do so that they would feel more enlightened. <laughs> like getting us to say penis and vagina at the dinner table. You know, so that we'd feel comfortable talking about sex, which is probably why now I prefer pee pee and hoo hoo. More pee pee than hoo hoo, I'd imagine. Does it show? I don't think that game would have been a hit in my house. Unless there was a section on the wheel for thirsty. Well, there was a section on the wheel for scared. But you'd have had to share that one with me. <laughs>